let's move to our first board this is my promise that what in in today's class we are going to learn all these things okay and then talk about this one origin attribute and actually we have talked about it a little bit but yes let's cover it more and how we can uh, use it too right so for example we are here And I forgot to mention that we have an autonomous system number here, which is AS100. You can see this, right? And you all know about this topology pretty well. We have 7.7.7.7 loopback, which we are advertising in BGP right here, right? And if the loopback is 7.7.7.7/24, then the route is going to become 7.7.7.0. And there are two ways to advertise this route. This route can be advertised using the network command. This route can be advertised using your uh, redistribution, right? And this is what you see. So if I if I go on route number six, uh, as you can see, this route is going to be available on R5, then R2. And IBGP is running between R1 and R2. So this route is available on R12. We all know about it, right? No doubt about it. And if you go to R6, it will showcase you this route is right here. And if you see the path, you can understand the path very well. And here we have this little I, which is the origin code of this route you must be thinking what is the meaning of origin the meaning is what are the, means at any router if you see this little code here which is written i which is which is in this case is i you can see that and you can understand that this route was generated using network command but why it is so important to know right it is important to know because BGP in certain situation uh, select the best route on this little code here, which is written right after the AS path, right? So as I mentioned that this route is going to be advertised or can be advertised in two ways. One is through network command and the other way is through redistribution. If we, if you originate this at uh, this route using network command then the origin is going to be i bgp understand that if you are doing so much effort in introducing this route into bgp i am going to prefer it why you are doing so much effort because you are literally specifying that this is the route route may be 7.7.7.0/24 right and you write mask when you specify the network command what you write network of course then you write 7.7.7.0 and then you write the mask right which might be slash 24 or basically 255.255.255.0 if you do this right bgp thinks or bgp says the origin of this met uh, attribute this route is i which represent IGP and BGP prefers this attribute over any other attribute in terms of code only, right? So you must be thinking that if BGP prefers this origin code, then there must be some other codes and there are, right? Because if you advertise this route using redistribution, the origin code is going to be question mark and we call this as an incomplete. It doesn't mean that you are advertising the route with a lot of incomplete information, but BGP thinks that if you redistribute this route, then we lose some of the basic characteristic of route in terms of uh, in terms of uh, few things, and which which I will let you know. But this is the understanding of BGP. It is not like that. We are literally losing some of the some of the properties of the route it is not the case but bgp thinks that if you introduce a route using network command it is going to be preferred over if you 
advertise a route using redistribute command. So if I write it here, then I origin code has greater preference than question mark. This is IGP origin code. This is incomplete origin code, right? If you get one route using I and another route using question mark, then basically BGP is going to uh, going to select I as a best route, right? In what situation you may encounter this? Let's have a look at it. So suppose we have a router here. Router is router uh, R1. We are right here. Okay. And router R1 is receiving two routes. One is from R2, sorry, one route. And the other one is from R3. BGP is running between them. Doesn't matter whether it's an IBGP or BEBGP, but BGP is running, right? And in this case, let's support it is a EBGP. And that is why we have three different autonomous system number. Here we have 100, here we have 200, and here we have 300. Very simple. No issues, right? But what is happening is both of these routers are advertising the same route. And maybe that route is, say, 5.5.5.0 slash 24. Suppose you can do that. And in AS300, you are using the network command to advertise this route. OK, so you are if you are using the network command to advertise this route, you are going to write network 5.5.5.0 slash 24 or basically the exact command is mask 255.255.255.0 interesting right then of course this route is going to be advertised into bgp from here to here and here in this router r2 you are using actually the redistribute command so what you are doing is you are going into the router con router bgp configuration and of course here also you need to go to router bgp configuration router bgp 200 here 300 right and you are going to say redistribute connected what is the meaning of connected all the connected routes just redistribute them you can argue with me, Mr. Vishnu, that if that is the case, then of course, this suppose 5.5.5.5 may be the connected route. But this interface is also the connected route, right? It is also going to be advertised. But believe me, you can control all these things. You can control what to advertise in a connected route. Suppose a router have many connected routes, and I want to advertise only this interface and only this interface into the BGP. We can do that. And this is the functionality. Uh, this is this is most of the time we are going to do that, right? We can achieve it using route map, which we haven't studied. So that is why I'm saying let's use a command redistribute connected in this case. If that is the case, R1 is going to learn two routes, right? Here it is going to learn the two routes, and I am writing them in the uh, from the green pen. And here you go. The first route is going to be the BGP learned route, of course, 5.5.5.0 slash 24, right? It is going to be learned via R2 and attribute in terms of AS path, we can write here 200, as simple as that. The second thing is going to be BGP, again, 5.5.5.0 slash 24, both routes are exactly same. The next path here is going to be R3. And basically, we have here 300, as simple as that. Now, we all know from the yesterday class that first thing first, when this router R1 is going to get these routes, R1 is going to check few things, right? If these both route want to go into the routing table or the BGP table, specifically into the uh, local rib bgp is running path selection algorithm and the first thing it is going to check whether these routes having any next stop and if that next stop is reachable or not from r1 
Suppose R1 is getting this route from the R3 and if R3 is not reachable, this route is not going to be installed. This route is not eligible for comparison. BGP straight away say that this is inaccessible and we have seen that guy. The second thing BGP is going to compare is the weight and by default, whatever you are receiving in terms of route, R1 is going to give them a number which is zero. In, in terms of weight, both are zero. And if both of these numbers are same, BGP cannot take decision on the uh, on this, right? So it will go to the third thing, which is local preference. You do not get any local preference attribute from your eBGP pairing, but yes, you can define them. So if you are not getting any local preference, so you, are, you don't see anything here. And if you don't see anything here, then BGP cannot take decision on the basis of that. It is as simple as that. The fourth thing which comes here is the AS path. What we are doing, guys, we are BGP wants to select a best route out of these two, either this one or this one. AS path, BGP takes the best path decision on the basis of AS path length. What is the meaning of length? The meaning of the length is how many autonomous system number you are have you you have in this bracket here we have only one it means the as path length is only one here also we have one it means the as path length is here also one we cannot take decision on the basis of as path length and if the case basically the four uh, bgp tried with weight local preference as path length it couldn't find the best route and that is where the next thing come into picture, which is the origin attribute, right? Interesting. So here, the origin attribute, if I consider, then for the route number one, the origin is going to be, route number one is guys, this one via R2, and we are redistributing it. It means that it is going to be the question mark here. And for the second route, which we are receiving from R3, through network command, it is going to be in. Uh, it is going to be IGP, right? And you all know that IGP is given as uh, treatment, given the superior treatment as compared to the incomplete route, which were generated in BGP using the distribute command, and this was generated in BGP using network command, and hence the route number two, this route, will get, of course, the strict is going to be there in both the both the routes but route number two is going to get this greater than symbol which proves that the bgp has selected this route as a best path select as, as a best, best path it is as simple as that right so you must be wondering that apart from these two do we have any other origin uh, code and yes we do have right so before BGP, believe me, guys, there is one another protocol which we call exterior gateway protocol, which was EGP, right? And BGP says that if you are having a route from EGP, it is going to have the origin code of E, right? It means that you are having three origin code. But believe me, guys, you are not going to say EGP because it is completely replaced by BGP. Right. That means that you are not going to see any route in the BGP table with this attribute or with this origin code, which is E. Right. But if you ask me that what is the uh, what is the preference? Maybe if we see this E, right, then the treatment given by BGP is in this manner. I is always the preferred one. Right. After I, the preference is given to E, which is the EGP learned route, which you are not going to see ever, right? And the third thing is going to be your incomplete. It is as simple as that, right? So if somebody asks you that what is going to be the traffic pattern in this case, you can understand that because BGP has taken the decision that it would go from R3, so from R1, if somebody is coming, the traffic path is going to be this, right? You can argue with me, Mr. Vishnu, why BGP has to select a one path only? Why you are always behind it that if you have two same routes, 
why exactly you need to identify one path why can't we have in r1 both the path and we do load balancing right and this is a valid question because we were doing all these things in igp in case of ospf is the cost is same for a particular route then basically we do load balancing right in terms of the traffic flows one is going here the one flow is going here which is the default behavior why can't we do this believe me we can do this right but bgp has a specific set of criteria in selecting that and if the, the selection is matching then we are going to reach that whether we have configured this load balancing or not and if we have then these two routes are going to be installed in the bgp table but for now as i mentioned then in the fifth criteria bgp were able to select the route using the origin code because we have advertised because we have advertised this route in as300 using network command and that is going to take the precedence and i could see a hand raise here mr burak please ask your question okay thank you Vishnu. Mm -hmm. uh, i wonder what is the uh, meaning uh, of igp uh, origin code the meaning is actually this is a great question and even i got confused that why the name is written as igp see the whole soul point is uh, interior gateway protocol are the protocols which run in your autonomous system right and it could be steric of course it is it, it could be the connected route these are all the interior to your autonomous system right and maybe you are running ospf but it could be the case that you are learning some of the route from the external domain or maybe with other routing protocol right and what you can do is you can you can you can advertise everybody through this network command right and that is why it is saying that network command because you are whole soul in charge of it you are actually advertising these routes into the bgp bgp is going to say the network command is actually uh, uh, more what we can say more controlled in advertising these igp routes right but if you advert and i will showcase you that if you advertise the bgp route then uh, bgp route use uh, sorry uh, if you advertise the routes in bgp using the redistribution there are some things which you don't like right i will showcase you but yes your point is clear nothing is matching here why we are calling them the igp code right but i think the only reason is that because you are just like your ospf your uh, rip you are introducing a route into bgp if you are introducing the route into the bgp those are going to be your igp routes and that is why basically this is uh, bgp is saying those are igp routes but not much sense you are right <laughs> because until this time we have learned that uh, ospf or isas uh, yeah these are the uh, interior gateway protocols yeah. uh, igps yeah i understand mm -hmm. i understand but mm -hmm. uh, i mm -hmm. even i was looking for it and uh, uh, maybe if if you guys can find it maybe you can update us in next class and whenever i find it that definitely i will be updating you mm -hmm. okay okay thank you so